109 degrees out right now. We're not done climbing. I think we're going to end up at a new record today with a high of about 118. I want to talk a little bit about the fire forecast. We talked at the beginning of that show about that newer fire that started late last week, uh, just off to the uh, east of Prescott Valley by about 10 miles. Winds are out of the southwest today at about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Hopefully that will blow some of the smoke away from Prescott Valley, gusting to 25 miles per hour with about a 50% chance of storms in that area. Now, storms would not be good. It would be good if we got some rain there, but those gusty erratic winds uh, that can change the fire's direction, not good. So we don't have any in the area right now, but it's not too far just north of there where we do. Let's take you over on the rim. We're starting to see some light showers there along the 260, and really it's the White Mountains where we're seeing the storms start to pop, mainly east of Sholo and drifting slowly up to the north right now. In the Valley Metro area, we're definitely quiet, and again, we'll likely stay that way today. Our chances are pretty slim. There's nothing happening to the south of us right now. Our high resolution forecast models show going into the afternoon and evening hours. We'll see more activity in northern and eastern Arizona, perhaps some activity to the south that could push some wind or some dust our way. But the storms themselves kind of fall apart here as they push toward the valley tonight. So chances are very slim for anything making it in slightly better chance tomorrow night. This is a picture of tomorrow afternoon uh, with some uh, a little, I'd say more numerous uh, storms across the high country of eastern Arizona, pushing down toward the valley and slightly better chance a few of them make it into maybe the east valley or the southeast valley. Going forward, though, in time, let's uh, take a look at our jet stream forecast going toward Thursday into Friday and Saturday. We're going to get more moisture moving into the state. A big push from the south and southeast, which will lead to higher storm chances by Friday night with even better storm chances for the valley, especially by Saturday and then into Sunday as well, perhaps during the day or even into the evening hours on Sunday. We're going to put it at about a 50% chance for rain for the valley. So finally, for the first time in a while, our seven day rain outlook is actually putting the valley on the map for rain chances. Of course, the higher amounts are going to be in southern Arizona and along the rim and into the White Mountains of eastern Arizona with this, but it's some hope. What that's also going to do is cool us off enough that this excessive heat warning is likely going to finally end on Thursday for the valley metro area will be near 118 today and about 119 tomorrow. So a couple more hot days to get through 89 today for Flagstaff, 100 for Sedona and 112 for Casa Grande today, 105 for Globe. Here's how your seven day plays out. So again, a couple of very hot days. Even Thursday is looking toasty at 116 Friday. No heat warning, but 115 first alert weather days, by the way, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday as well. Over the weekend, storm chances climb to about 50% and we think by early next week we'll be back finally below 110. Crossing our fingers for that for sure. April, thank you.